everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSD News. We've actually been contacted by the CEO and founder of Refresh Entertainment for our first store today. If you guys remember earlier this week, we talked about a Strauss and other pro players out there and what they're possibly making from sticker cuts and sticker percentages. We've actually been reached out to this guy. I'm not going to try and butcher his name. I'll call him Nico, who is actually the CEO and founder of Refresh Entertainment, obviously tied to a Strauss Gaming there. And he actually corrected us on how much these players are really getting of their team stickers and signatures. Here's what he had to say, guys, exactly about the topic. And first off, we reached out to him about the screenshot on screen for all of you about the Danish television station who is covering device and that screenshot was actually leaked and he first wanted to clarify he had no idea what that actually meant what that screenshot represented and for the time being if you even ask these players here's what the true numbers actually are they don't just make 1% of their sticker cuts but the actual percentages do include of team stickers 90% go to players 10% to the actual organization and that 10% of, of team stickers is the only cut those guys get the organization themselves are refresh they only get the 10% of team stickers 90% go to the players and then when you go to player signature stickers that's actually the big money there 100% of those signatures actually go to the players which of course does make sense that's their players individual signature and so all of that should belong to that player so for all of you guys who are wondering if that if that story was incorrect yes it was thanks to Nico for reaching out to us it seems these players actually make way more money than we ever thought they get 90% of the team stickers and not in hundred percent of their own signature sticker money and that is insane to say now of course that's obviously after the 50% valve cut 50% goes to the team's organization players 50% goes back to valve but that's still a large, large amount of money, and that really explains why many of these players out there, including the Strauss members, are actually telling us to go buy their stickers themselves, because that's actually a big chunk of change of their income, guys. And again, thanks to Nico for reaching out to us to clarify how much these players actually make for stickers, and it is a lot of money. And also, another big news, of course, how many of you guys probably heard about this, we actually had kind of a nice surprise from Valve. I mentioned in my previous video a couple days ago that we were going to have the release of the Dust 2 rework beta, and it actually was this week's Tuesday's update, obviously yesterday. So kind of a nice surprise from Valve there. They said it was going to be soon. No one really expected it to be this soon and of course you guys are going away as I show you many clips out there and images of the new Dust 2. It looks amazing when it comes to graphically. Of course there have been some reports as of right now of some FPS issues. Besides that though you guys are doing your job as a community and actually going out and trying to correct as many problems as possible and that's why we all love the beta reworks to so how we all can actually make the corrections ourselves. As of right now though from a graphic standpoint some big upgrades. Of course there are going to be some back ends, some back sets and of course probably some other issues that should be fixed in the time being but the real question does remain as is if, the, if Dust 2 actually does come back guys what maps will be taken away or what map specifically will be taken away many rumors out there of course cash cobblestone mirage being the three options as of right now what do i think personally i really have no opinion what maps can be taken away i just cross my fingers it's not gonna be mirage it's one of my favorite maps to watch i actually prefer maybe a cobblestone rework i think not too many people are actually expecting that to come soon so we'll see if dust 2 goes back in the map pool what map do you guys think is gonna be taken out and reworked next uh leave a comment down below what you guys think about that but also bouncing into a very important story for all of you guys who are wondering it's about the website known as Game Flip. It's actually a marketplace out there just like OP Skins. Probably a little bit smaller following as well, but still a really trusted website out there. They've actually sponsored YouTubers out there like McSkillet, Anomaly, and as of right now, and a few days ago, we had some fraudulent activity on their website, and it's actually a very, very deep story. So first off, apparently a very, very big increase in bot trade accounts or bot, uh, bots actually buying on their website some items for way, way over their price, over their regular price. What I mean by this is we actually had a lot of items on their website being sold for way above the price they actually should be sold for, which is of course very good very good for sellers, but it's very, very suspicious why this is happening. Now, of course, the main allegation right now is, is maybe credit card fraud. Someone got a credit card, and of course, they're going to be buying as many skins as possible, no matter what the price. And of course, once that credit card is actually found out, they already have their skins, and the scam gets away with. Now, actually, we had my own friends being contacted by people on that website, uh, using that website to actually buy their skins. One of my very good friends actually contacted me with these screenshots on screen for all of you, and he actually sold many of his big items, big ticket items, for 50 to 100% over their price. And I do want to say, as of right now, allegedly, it's actually this Steam profile right now who has been involved with these apparently big, big purchases. Now, of course, this actually reigns suspicious because if you, who's going to really want to pay 50% to 100% over the item worth, especially because many of these items are not collectibles. Of course, they're rare items, but they're not going to be like Stat Track, Crimson Web, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff that's going to be worth more in the future, or even a trader would want, honestly. They're Medusas, they're Marble Fades, they're not things you would actually currently overpay that much for. So, of course, it, it kind of smells of fraudulent activity. So, I wouldn't necessarily be worried as a seller right now because of course if this actually is credit card fraud it does come out as it actually right now we had game flip post this a few days ago they said they saw no fraudulent activity although it kind of a deeper side of the story guys when you google that same steam profile i'll show it on screen for all of you guys again this same profile if you actually google the steam link to his account another fraud comes up from about a year ago on ebay it actually comes up on reddit forums thanks to the guy who actually researched this as well he actually found out the same guy linked to the same steam account was involved in a fraudulent activity over a year ago right around a year ago on ebay where of course a potential stolen credit card where he was buying
buying a string and string of items and of course it came back to bite uh, the seller in the butt on eBay because you're not protected uh, if that actually happens to you. Uh, unfortunately enough on eBay you're not protected by that. I assume with GameFlip you're going to be protected as a seller. You'll still get your money and GameFlip will take the fall for that. But please be aware guys, look into deep, in, deeper into these stories if you guys can. For right now for GameFlip I'm not going to trust it as a seller. Who really knows what their policies are, if they're going to protect their sellers or if, if you actually get an item bought with a, uh, with a credit card fraud, if you're going to take the bite for that. Who actually knows in the future? So please be careful guys. As of right now GameFlip going under some fraudulent activity. Although the website themselves say it's not fraudulent activity, if you look deep down into it, guys, it seems that some big buyer out there has someone else's credit card they should not have. So please just be careful of that. But also, very last in today's episode of CSK News, many of you guys were aware of this about several, several months ago. Actually, this past summer, we had a Gamer Z TV show, uh, kind of a, a show, kind of a reality CSGO show for the European scene. It was actually specifically, though, for only Scandinavian teams. And so people thought it was kind of a, a lesser event. You know, production quality was not too well for the Gamers show. It will be returning sometime soon, though, to the EU scene and other scenes out there, potentially North America and even Brazil or South America as well. Now on top of that though, they've actually announced their European return and it should be for an even bigger spot. Many of you guys are aware when the initial gamers show actually launched, they finally had they had two teams of five at the finals and actually the winning team got a contract with a Gamer Z team. That team has since broken up as one of their members. I think it was actually uh, Limpone, uh, JW's little brother, he actually broke off and joined Tempo Storm. So that current team that is still under contract and being paid a little bit of money, so pretty nice show, a pretty nice reward for these guys. That team has since broken up. But now even a bigger thing for the next season, apparently for the European edition for the Gamers Z TV show, the winning team or the, the actual winning player will receive his spot to Fnatic Academy. So who knows how they're going to narrow it down in terms of players, but now Fnatic Academy is now tied to that scene and it should be the next Gamers Z TV show. Whoever wins the overall show will now actually get a spot on an official team, which is pretty cool to see. So that's going to be it for today's episode of CSK News. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I will see you guys all in a couple days with some more CSK News. Please leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed and uh, I will see you all next time. Remember, live, love, laugh a lot. My name is Jim. I'm like you and uh, goodbye.